Hey guys, my name is Austin and today I want to show you a tool that I created available in the asset store called Journal. It's been out for a while now, I've just not talked much about it or any outside of the forum really, but uh, it's a simple achievement system designed to quickly and easily get achievements up and running in your game with as little work as possible. It's currently available for sale on the asset store, there's links in the description and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway in the comments for a couple vouchers. If you are interested, just comment below. Let me know what you would like to do with the achievement system. And uh, I'm going to randomly pick, just completely random, a couple of comments and I will message you with your voucher. I'm also going to be giving away a couple of vouchers for my asset called Stat Track. It's a small asset that the achievement system is actually built on top of. But it's a pretty cool little system designed to easily track stats in your game, whatever the stats may be. And you can use that to extend it any kind of system later on if you would like. But it's a very simple system. So comment below if you want either of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the asset store and I have just searched up journal here. And it's going to be the first thing available to me. And I am just going to quickly install this into my project. Import into my project. Import everything. Now one of the coolest things about Journal is it's very quick to get up and running with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window, and I now have a Journal menu item here, and I'm going to go over to Install Journal. And that's going to quickly add the proper elements to my canvas. There has to be a canvas object somewhere in your scene. It can be called anything as long as it is a canvas object. And it will add and uh, position the elements in your scene for you. And it also comes with some built-in default achievements that you can play around with. So if I click play and I check this out, I have the default achievements available to me here, as you can see. And I can actually hook up to these and use them in my game if I want to, just to play around with it. And there's also a demo that comes with this that you can play around with that allows you to toggle the achievements on and off. But for this video, we're going to make our own achievements. So I'm going to go up to Window, I'm going to go to Journal, and go to Achievement Editor. And we're going to be working in this right here. It's a simple little tool that allows us to edit the collection of achievements that we have and change all of the properties of each achievement. So what I want to do though is I'm just going to get rid of all these. I'm just going to delete them. I don't want any of the defaults. Okay. And I'm going to add achievement. Now I could have easily just edited the values of those achievements, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to start from nothing and get achievements up in your game. So I'm going to go to the drop down here and I'm going to make this ID of zero. And if you don't want to actually manually change the IDs of all of your achievements, once you get finished with it, just click Generate IDs, and that will go through and give them an ID in sequential order starting from the top to the bottom. So the name I want to give this, we're going to make this Slime Slayer. We're going to track slime slaying in our game and uh, allow them to get an achievement once they kill five slimes. I'm just going to call it Kill Five Slimes. So the name is Slime Slayer, the description is Kill Five Slimes. The needed value is how many you have to do in order to get the achievement marked as complete. And the current value is how many you currently have, zero. And it will go up to the, uh, the needed value because it can't go over that, obviously. And display as percentage will just change it from being like two out of five to being a percentage value. And the reward value is how many achievement points you get for doing that. This is going to be 15 for me, and it's not completed. I want to add another achievement, give it ID of 1, and I want to call this uh, Give Me a Sign. And this is just going to be completed once you actually use the sign that we have in the game here. So I'm going to uh, give the description of Read the Sign Near the Cave Entrance needed value is one because you either have it done it or you have done it so zero or one true or false current value zero not percentage and the reward value is going to be five okay add one more achievement here and now i want to click on close all and it's going to close all of the ones i have open and then just open the one i want and i want to add id of two and i want to call this conversationalist and this achievement is just going to happen whenever I actually talk to an NPC in the game. So I'm going to say talk to an NPC. Need a value again, true or false, yes or no, so zero or one. So one reward value is 25. And add one more achievement here. 
and it's going to be ID of uh, three, and it's going to be called get moving. And I want this one to happen once I have click to move uh, 15 times, 10 or 15 times. So I'm going to say click to move 10 times. Needed value is 10, and this one will be a percentage, and the reward value is uh, 35. And I want to close all. Click generate IDs anyway because uh, make sure I didn't mess any of the IDs up there. They are now 0, 2, 3, so 4 total. And 0 all stats, what that's going to do is if you have a current value and say that they already have a value, so they, they've actually made progress on that achievement, and you're in the testing stage, so you want to reset all the values to 0, quickly and easily just click on that button and it will change them all back to 0. Reload will just reload the last version of the achievement file so if you have made changes you didn't like and you haven't applied those changes you can click reload and it will reload all those for you and delete player save it's just going to delete the save version that the game has so you can actually use the new version of the achievements and also in your achievements here if i go to journal and i go to my resources and i go to json you have backup files so you have the current one you're working with and then the last one that you had before that so if you made changes that, that broke your game or you didn't like then you can always just delete that and rename this as achievements and you'll have the latest version available to you pretty cool so i'm going to click apply changes and it's going to save out that file as the json file and then move the other one to be backup as you can see there so that's the new one and there's the backup version pretty cool and now we're done with the journal editor for now and now what I want to do, I'm going to click play, and we're going to see my achievements in game here. So Slime Slayer, all we've done to get moving, and you have the achievement score value over here, and the current value that you have progressed in that achievement, and then down here the percentage value you can see. Pretty cool. So now let's quickly hook these up in our game. So the first one is kill five slimes. So I have to go to my slime here, and what I'm going to do is just whenever a slime dies, I'm just going to increment that value. So down here on my die method, now obviously your game will be different than mine unless you are also following along with my simple RPG tutorial series on the channel. If you're not and you are, you just bought the asset to use, then just understand that this can be called from anywhere, right? So I'm gonna go through a namespace called game grind and now you could use the statement using game grind like you normally would with a, with a namespace. And then I could just go straight through journal to access its properties. And we're going to use a method called increment. And this allows us to pass an ID for an achievement and then how much to increment it by, or also pass a string key value as the achievement and then the amount to increase it by. So if the name of it is Slime Slayer, that is the string key. Or the ID is zero, as Slime Slayer is, then the ID will be zero. So increment, and I'm gonna use the key for this, the, the string key, so it's gonna be slime slayer. Then the value on the pass is one. So every time a slime dies, increment slime slayer by one. And that's all you have to do for this. So now I wanna go over to my signpost. So whenever I click on the sign, I want it to toggle this achievement. So I wanna go journal.increment, and I wanna call it, let's see, it's the, ID of one, it's the second achievement, and then increment by one. And I want to add the namespace qualifier here, game grind dot journal, just like that. And we also had one for the conversationalist. Open this up here, and whenever this happens, I'm going to do the same thing. Increment, and it was called conversationalist. You can mix these in however you want to use the the strings or the the ID, the integer ID, however you want to do that. And again, game grind dot journal. And the other one was for whenever I'm moving. So I'm going to go to my world interaction. And we have down here whenever I click to move, but we've not clicked on an object or we've not clicked on an enemy, whatever it may be, then we're going to increment this one. So if I just click on the ground to move, and it was called getting moving, I believe. And again, through the game grind namespace. And I think that's all four we had, correct? Journal, Achievement Editor, boom, there they are. Okay, cool. So uh, those are now in our game. And what I'm gonna do 
is since I don't have a way in my game to toggle this UI on and off, I'm going to keep it up over here so I can toggle it on and off over here. The X toggles it off, but there's not a key bound to toggling it on that's going to be specific to your game. But there is a method available to you on the UI. So if I go back into journal here and I go to my scripts folder and I go to the UI achievement UI list, you have the method toggle panel. And all you have to do is call that method and it will toggle it off if it's on and on if it's off. Pretty simple. Close out that and I can move. And if I toggle my UI back on, I can see get moving, click to move 10 times. I moved once, which is 10%, one out of 10. So if I keep moving around here, it's going to increase as you would expect. So let's look at that again here. I have moved nine out of 10, so one more time, and it will actually give me the achievement. Get moving completed, click to move 10 times. And now if I look at my UI, I have the 35 points that rewarded me and it is now checked off as done. Pretty cool. So I wanna go and use this sign over here. Once I get up to it, it will toggle it on. Boom. Give me a sign completed, pretty cool. Again, look at the UI here. There it is, one out of one. Kill five slimes. So this one I have to actually make some progress on. I'm gonna quit my sword here and I wanna kill this slime. Now if I look, one out of five. Pretty cool. There we go, kill five slimes, slime slayer completed. Then again, slime slayer completed. And I'm gonna to talk to an NPC. I believe I can talk to this guy here. Talk to the NPC, got that done. Pretty cool, so that's the, uh, the gist of the achievement system. It's very simple to use, as you can see. We just got four achievements up and running in our game very quickly and easily and it's all done in the editor right you can simply change all of your achievements right here and the order they're in in this list so you can move them up and down that's the order they display in in your game see here so if i move uh get moving to the top i'm going to apply that first <laughs> and now i'm going to reload here and i have get moving at the top as you would expect Pretty cool, so you can move them around just like that. And again, if you are changing data that has a save file, and you're noticing that you're getting the older data here, all you have to do is delete the player save, because the save file, the the, uh, the values from the save file are gonna override the values from the achievement file, which is how it works, right? So if you're seeing you're getting the old data still and you still want to test it, you can either zero all the stats out, and then save that, and then delete the player save, or just delete the player save, and then change your values to what you want them to be in here so you can start off with whatever values you would like. Again, guys, I'm going to be giving away two copies of this to uh, two commenters in the comments below, randomly selected. So if you want this, let me know what you want it for. Even though it doesn't matter, I'm just kind of curious as to what you're going to be doing with it. And uh, two copies of Stat Track, same thing, same way, randomly selected. You don't have to be subscribed or any of that jazz. It's not that. It's just I want to have a way to select a couple of you guys and to do it randomly. And this seems to be the best way to do it. So if you comment below, I'll use a little tool to select two random unique people for the journal asset and two random unique people for the stat track asset. Hope you guys like it. And if you don't win, it's still for sale on the uh, asset store. Journal is currently 15 bucks, and stat track is uh, a couple bucks like 250 i think so there you go uh, links in the description again guys my name is austin and i will see you next time